Jojo, thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me today. I know you're super busy. Um, talk to me a little bit about what's going on. You've taken a short notice fight against Jennifer Meyer next weekend. How did that opportunity come about? So pretty much I was, I've been fighting, I've been training since my last fight, uh, which was in September now. So I feel like it's coming up in a year and I'm kind of getting, really I've been itching to get back in there for now about a few months. And we got word that Valentina, the, the fight got postponed because she took surgery and she took time off to do rehab and stuff. So we were like, okay, but they were like, no, it's just going to be a couple of months. So we were like, okay, we can we can wait a couple of months. And then, then it came back, and then it was like now the end of the year. So I, I'm like, uh, I kind of be itching to get back in there. So told them, is there any possibility that we could fight? And then the next day, they, uh, Jennifer Maya's opponent pulled out, and then next thing they asked me if I wanted to take that fight, and I was like, I saw it as a sign. I was like, yeah, let's do this. Okay, because you were supposed to, originally you were supposed to face uh, Valentina in June, I think it was, and then that got pushed back from there. So how frustrating was that to to have that date in mind, even though you hadn't, you know, fought for such a long time, and then for it to be postponed again, how frustrating was that? It was very frustrating, but I kind of tried to catch myself before I went down that road. Uh, of, oh, this is terrible. No, it's not. I'm in a great position. Uh, still, it's still, at least it's still happening. So I tried to see all the positives that were coming out of, even though it's getting pushed back. But yeah, I would be talking to my coach and my manager and be like, man, I just want to get back in there. And then my worry is, it's coming up in a year since I've fought and Valentina's not no joke, so you don't want to go in there and you also been on the shelf for a year. Uh, so that was my decision, and I, I took it to them, and they agreed with me, and we were like, okay, let's just have it still and the, the, set in the goals of to get there. But right now, let's concentrate on getting another fight, getting a win, and still staying relevant for that title fight. Right. Okay. And. Last September was when you last fought, which was in Abu Dhabi. Seems such a long time now. Um, so what have you been doing since that time and, and how have you been making the most of your time away? So after that fight, I was like, OK, uh, Valentina's fight and uh, Caitlin, so maybe Caitlin will get hurt, so maybe I can jump in there. So I kind of started training and just for that possibility of that opportunity opportunity to come up. And then so we were concentrating on that, and then she didn't. And then Valentina came out said she wanted to get back in there as soon as possible. And she was thinking maybe, like she said, she mentioned my name. So next I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, but that would have probably still been down, the, like a few months down the road. So basically I've just been training, still in the gym, helping Right now, we've got so many great female fighters right now, and they've all have been fighting. Uh, uh, recently, so I've just been in the gym helping different things for myself. And yeah, it's just it's hard because I don't, I'm not injured. I've been out on the shelf before with injuries, but right now it's so hard to stay focused because. Yeah, you've got a community, but also you're not in the, you're not reaping the you're in the gym because sparring. Like I've got this killer instinct in in me, and I feel like in sparring you can only there's only so hard so hard you can go. So I'm just missing that competition and those feelings and uh, yeah and yeah. I, so I'm, that's mostly been in the back of my mind. I'm just like dying to get back in there and have those feelings. Yeah, definitely. I can imagine. And and what about kind of uh, the pandemic? How did that affect you? Because obviously that was, I mean, I don't know how things are for you guys over there now, but were you affected by the pandemic? Any lockdowns and, and, and with COVID? Yeah, we were. So the fight was still supposed to be happening in June. So 
we were like, okay, still training. Luckily, I'm engaged to my coach. So we just uh, continued to train and kept our, our, our mind on the fact that we were still fighting. So it was crazy with everything going on, but still in that mindset of, okay, we're going to be fighting in a month or two. Uh, and then when the fight got put back, we were a little bit more relaxed and kind of it kind of felt more real about everything that was happening around us uh, and yeah it it was tough and just tried to take positives from being in that uh, situation and then a few weeks ago the gym opened up and then we're kind of seeing things rolling but still not really knowing what's going to happen <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And okay, so to, I mean, talk about the matchup then with Jennifer Meyer. I mean, what do you think about her as an opponent for you, and and what do you think she brings to the table in this matchup? She's very tough. She's never. I don't think she's ever been stopped. Most of our uh, fights have went to the decision, so she's tough. She hangs in there. Uh, she's great all round, and yeah, I think she's a great fighter. Although she's missed wait her past two fights I think that's only kind of downfall that she's had but what hopefully she's had months since that's happened and she's got her weight under control and uh, I'm looking forward to the matchup. Are you concerned that she might miss weight does that cross your mind? No I'm just concentrating on myself you know I, I took this in short notice even though I'm, my weight's right, good right now but Kind of to do a weight cut in uh, two weeks' notice is going to be tough. So uh, I'm just concentrating on making sure I I make weight. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and what kind of preparation? I know obviously you've been, you know, helping other girls in the gym, and and you've been working on your, you know, on yourself as well during this time that you've had away. But what kind of preparation have you been able to get in in such a short time? And have you been looking at any areas in particular in terms of getting ready for Maya? No, just keeping my all-round aspects good, defense and attack. And my training partner, Sarah Kaufman, just got in last night. So it's pretty much, we're probably going to have camp right up until the fight. And I enjoy her. Uh, she comes in, she's a great training partner, a uh, black belt. Got, she's got like 200 fights. So I just enjoy uh, training with her and... Uh, I know she's got a good eye for things and she's very honest. So, uh, yeah, just being being in the moment and seeing what I'm doing and then fixing mistakes or uh, going with what, I'm, what I've been doing good. So, uh, and covering the aspects of where we think Jennifer and I might take the fight. How do you think the fight goes down then? How do you see it in, uh, in your head? I can't. I think she's going to like bum rush me and probably take me, try and take me to the ground or maybe hold me against the fence. I know I, uh, Apex is a smaller octagon, so uh, obviously I'm a rangy fighter, so I want to be using my distance and things. But uh, yeah, we're thinking that. It's usually how it goes. <laughs> And and how convenient is it, obviously, to have the apex on your doorstep? And that must make things a little bit easier, you know, stepping in on short notice when, when you've got the apex just down the road from you. Yeah, and it's pretty much my home. I feel like I train in there. I, tra I use the strength and conditioning gym there and because uh, it's right next to the PI, so sometimes we go over there. Uh, so, yeah, it kind of feels like I'm fighting at home, even though... Vegas is, is my home right now, but obviously I'm from Scotland. Uh, I just feel like it feels, it's a little, it, it, I love traveling, but at the same time, you love your home comfort. You love your own bed and uh, you love your own team. The The best thing about fight camp for a uh, fight week for me will be that I'm still with my, my people and I'm in a happy place. And I, I love that aspect. Yeah, that's nice. And you've been in Vegas for living in Ve Vegas for quite a while now, haven't you? And 
how are you enjoying it compared to to being back in uh, in Scotland? I love it. I love the weather. I love how sunny and how hot it is. Uh, the only thing I miss about Scotland is my family that I don't get to. You know, it would be nice to just go down the road and see my mom or something like that. Uh, visit friends and that's sad. <laughs> It does get me homesick most days, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm in, I have my own family here, and I just love it here, and I'm happy, and I feel like whenever I think of Scotland, I feel like I am think back to when I was, like, miserable, and, ooh, it's, the weather's terrible, and I'm definitely, give me vitamin D kind of girl, so, yeah. Nice. You're definitely in a in a in a good spot there in Vegas. Um, are you looking forward to there being no crowd? What What are your thoughts about that? Because it's going to be a slightly different atmosphere to normal. Yeah, I I kind of experienced it with the Ultimate Fighter House, even though there was our team and their team. But from what I can remember from that seat, from being there in the moment, it was very noisy because there was lots of voices because it was such a small uh, area so you could hear a lot of voices so I feel like this is going to be different because I'll probably only hear maybe my coach and her coach uh, so I, I think I think uh, we'll see how it goes but I, I'm looking forward to that opportunity obviously I love the fans because <laughs> sometimes if you're down there or you get hit you know and they're like backing you behind you. Sometimes it gives you that little bit more of a uh, get back in the fight or uh, kind of uh, atmosphere is good. Yeah, definitely. And in terms of, you know, what's that risk for you? Are you feeling any pressure to, to have to get the win to, you know, to be able to still secure that title shot? Are you feeling the pressure because of that? Yeah, there's going to be pressure all the time with any fight we take. Uh, just different little pressure points, as you as, as you would say. But for this, I'm just taking it as I want to fight the best. And to do that, you have to beat the best. So, like, Maya is top. I think she's, like, five or six. So she's in, she's top girl. So why if I can't beat her then I shouldn't be fighting for the title so I want to beat her prove my point and keep going earn some money get some ring time and celebrate and just feel happy that I'm actually competing because I'm a fighter I love to compete so when we're not competing we're like or when we compete we're like when's the next one so it's hard to not be competing and with a win next weekend, are you still expecting to be next in line? Um, what What are your um, your uh, understanding of of what's going to happen? Obviously, with a win next uh, weekend, there's no. I can't see any. If <laughs> I might even win on Saturday and then want another fight, you know, because we don't know for definite. With an injury, you don't. You can't really. Tell, you can tell Taylor a little bit, but you can't really. She's a champion. The card, she's got the card. She can come back when she wants. She just fought at the start of the year. I'm sure she's financially good. She likes to travel. So basically, it's when she wants to come back. So I could maybe even get another uh, fight in there. And if that's what uh, UFC wants as well, then I'll do that. Wow, okay. It's quite a risky situation for you you know risking that um but but i suppose for you it's it's staying active did they give you any indication when they think that she might be ready to return i think it was november at the earliest so yeah so that would be a year and a year and a bit since i last fought you don't want to be ring rusty going into a five round fight with the champion, you know. So I, so I feel like this was 
that was more of a risk than us taking us out. Okay, and you know when that does eventually happen for you, what do you think you need to look out for? You know, with someone like Valentina, what do you think makes her so dangerous, and and what do you think you need to do to be able to defeat her when that time comes? Just be on the ball, come fight night. You know, there's a lot of uh, mental toughness that comes with being a fighter, and we have. We have like all year round to be to get better and things, but and we have like our camps like ten weeks we would say, uh, and you can have like maybe two or three bad days in there. You want to for when when it comes to fight night, you want to be that that day needs to be when you're on and everything is perfect. And sometimes you have injuries and all that, so I feel like. For Valentina, for me, my perfect night would be a perfect uh, training day. Okay, perfect. Well, we hope we see uh, that fight, that title fight for you. We wish you the best of luck next weekend and uh, hope to speak to you again soon. Nice to speak to you again. Thank you so much.